Hey guys, case and again. Let's learn some bits today. The problem that we are solving today is small factorial, and the problem code is F L O W zero one eight. And this is a beginner level practice problem from Code Chef. Let's get into the problem statement. Write a program to find the factorial value of any number entered by the user. So this is very straightforward. If you don't understand the factorial, don't worry. I'll explain it in a bit. So let's see the input format. Uh, T test cases and then T lines follow with n as the uh, input, right? So we got we got the input as three, and the factorial of three is six. We got input as four, factorial of four is twenty four, and so on, right? Yeah. So what is a factorial? Well, let's say we got an integer n, and we have to compute the factorial of that integer. Fact of five. Right, so fact of five means five into four into three into two is the factorial of five. Okay, actually it should go till one, but it won't matter if it goes till one or not. And factorial of six will be six into five into four into three into two. Right, right. So, but the factorial of zero is also equal to is actually equal to one. Rather than zero or something else, right? Okay, okay. And there won't be a factorial for negative numbers, I think. And this is a factorial of zero. Okay. Right. So let's see what's uh, how to do it. So we got the in, uh, test cases for i in range of t. We're just getting the number, right? So n equals to int of input. And let's say the answer equals to one. Uh, or rather, okay, let's just put it as one. And while n is greater than one, answer into equals to n, and then n minus equals to one because we don't have n minus minus in Python. Right. So what's happening here is we are initializing the answer to one. Okay, let's just print the answer also. That will be done. Yeah. So the answer is one uh, in the beginning, and n is some value. Let's say three over here, right? Three is greater than one. So answer into equals to three. So now answer is three, and then we are uh, decrementing the n by one so that we'll get five into four into three, right? So three is decremented by one, so we are getting two. So now answer uh, two is also greater than one, so answer into equals to two, which is three into two, and the answer will be six now, right? And then uh, n is again decreased from two to one. Now one is not greater than one, so we are exiting the loop, and the we are just printing the answer, which is six, right, guys? So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, we can check the given inputs. Right, six, twenty-four, and ten, which are perfectly right. Let's submit this. There we go. We got the correct answer. Uh, yeah. So that's how you do the factorial problem. There's also another way uh, using recursion. I think I solved it in uh, in the pre in a previous problem in this playlist only. So if you want, you can find that out. Uh, i'll try to put it as a annotation or something yeah thank you guys if you like the video please hit the like button and if you have any doubts and if you have any feedback about my explanation or something like that please leave it in the comment uh, i don't mind if, even if it's negative reviews i, I if it's implementable uh, it's good for me so that I'll, i can improve yeah uh, and share with your friends so that they can also learn something new and Yeah, subscribe so that you can watch more content of this type. And also, I'll be putting some content from coding contests like TCS Code Beta or something like that. Uh, yeah, thank you guys.